Hey, it's Sheldon with Tiger Tough. Right now, you're looking at a set of seat covers on an F650. Same goes for an F750. I'm gonna show you how these covers fit the seats and all the details on them. I'm also gonna show you how to put them on this truck. If you are here just for the install, you can skip ahead to that section of the video. But for right now, let's take a look at these covers. So everything that you touch on the seat is covered. So you got the seat back, the seat bottom, and the driver and passenger, the armrests are covered, but staying on the driver's side for right now, your seat's still fully adjustable up and down. Your armrest is covered because as we all know, elbow grease is a real thing. Moving over to the passenger side, even if you don't have a passenger, we all know that this ends up becoming the tool and or lunchbox shelf. So we cover all of that as well. The armrest still works perfectly fine, just like normal, and Look at that. I just love this part right here. The cover tucks underneath that plastic trim, so it just looks like factory. And if the old Mountain Dew splashes out while you're going down the road, no problem. They're waterproof, so it just beads up and runs right off. And again, the whole passenger seat is covered, so whether you got tools, pets, or people over here, you're good. Now, some things to keep in mind. These are made from 1,000 denier Cordura, which means that they are almost impossible to break. Because they're almost impossible to break, that means we can give you a two-year unconditional warranty. If something breaks, totally covered under warranty. I touched on it before, but they're waterproof. So you spill something, the only thing getting wet is your pants. It's gonna beat up and run off of the covers. And my favorite part, completely made in the USA. Now, let's take a look at how these things look when you take them out of the package. Now, the first part of this cover that we're gonna install is gonna be the driver's side seat back. Now, I'm sliding the seat ahead just so that I can get my hands behind it and work on it easier. And then we're gonna undo all of these straps, like this, including the one on the side here for the armrest. And now, a little pro tip here, it's gonna be a little easier if you turn it about half or so of the way inside out. Just makes it slide down over the seat better. Now I'm installing it with the Tiger Tough tag facing the door. That way you know you got the front to the front, the back to the back, and everything's gonna fit good. Now what I'm doing is making sure that these seams down the sides of the cover are lined up with the corners of the seat. And then, and just tuck that piece right there underneath the armrest. This one comes back and sticks to it. I like to tuck it in behind that plastic trim. They're just right behind that so it looks good. Now, these three flaps here shoot underneath just like that. Take these flaps and pull them as tight as you can because the tighter you pull them before you stick them up on the back of the seat, the better your cover is gonna look. So I pull it down like that really hard wrap it up, stick it on, and the seat back is covered. Now, since we're in the neighborhood, we'll do the armrest. So, just slide it on like the pillowcase. You're gonna wanna slide it on so that this is at the top. If you do it the other way around, well, it won't work well. Hold that nice and tight, stuck it together, and the armrest is covered. Now, it's just for the bottom. First thing I'm gonna do is take this string lock off of the string and we'll set it up there. Now, just like with the seat back, we're gonna get this over the seat and then get it arranged so that it looks good before we tighten it down. So now you can see that the cover is on. All the corners line up with the corners of the seat. But before we fasten that Velcro that we put just pushed through there, we need to deal with these strings because this is the trick to getting this thing to fit perfectly. So when you look down in there, you're gonna see there's a steel bar right there, but you can see a little bit of daylight in front of it. Drop the string down in front of it. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's a little bit easier to see on this side. So when I push the seat across, you can see the steel bar right there. The string is dropping down right in front of that. Then I'm gonna show you where to run that string. So you wanna pull these strings straight back from where you ran them underneath the seat. And you can see the, the bars right here that the seat slides back and forth on. Make sure the string is over top of that. If you go underneath all of this, you won't be able to slide the seat back and forth. 
Then the string lock comes into play. And this is gonna keep the seat cover in place and keep it from shifting side to side. So what I'm doing is I just fed the string in one side of it like that. And then we'll lock it in like so. And then we do the same thing on this side over here. Then this, the whole string lock is gonna go up underneath the seat a little bit, and that's fine. And now we'll just use the ends of these strings to pull them tight. Now that cover is locked so it can't shift side to side when you get in and out of the truck. Finally, this long flap here, pull it as tight as you possibly can and stick it up on the back like that and the driver's seat is finished. Now we're gonna cover the back on the passenger side here. And so we've got the passenger's back. It's the big old L-shaped piece. And we're gonna undo all of these flaps. Now I'm gonna tip the seat back forward just a little bit. And now we can start getting this thing funneled on here. It's kind of a lot of fabric to work with, but once you start getting it in place, it goes pretty easy. So. You see I've got this over top of that uh, passenger side. Now we'll just go over the center. So the whole armrest passed right through it. We'll just keep pulling this down. Make sure that this part of the cover hooks over that little shoulder looking piece of the seat. Now we're gonna take this piece right here and it's gonna go up behind this armrest. Now I was just pushing that up with my hand while I folded the armrest down to get it to come through. And then it tucks right inside like that. Now, all we have left to do is push these two flaps here between the back and the bottom and then fasten them. But before we do that, once you get around the back, the whole seat's covered with kind of a fuzzy material. This stuff will stick to it like crazy. So fold it over on itself like that with this hook on the inside. It'll go through just like a breeze. It's the part where you grab these flaps and pull them as tight as you can before you stick them up there. Now this armrest is dead simple to cover. Cover just slides over it like that with the hole on top for the cup holders. And then, just like we did before, push that up in there and then just push on it while you fold the armrest down and you can grab it when it comes up. Fold that over like that and stick them together. Now, here's a pro tip. Let's make this part right here look good. So we take the cover, hook it underneath one side of that plastic trim like that. You can just slide your thumb or your finger, screwdriver, whatever you want right around there, and that looks factory. Before we get started on covering this bottom, I'm gonna show you how it's supposed to look once it's on. So it's gonna go on like this here, where you got this, on this small panel right here, got this seam down the middle, that's the front. And the reason I wanna show you all this first is because pretty much everything happens way down underneath the seat. It's gonna be really hard to see. We're gonna put the cover on. These flaps here are gonna come down around underneath the seat and fasten to the flap that hangs down the front. Once that's done, we take these on two flaps on either side, pull them as tight as possible and stick them on here. So cover's going on. This seam across the front looks good compared to where the corner of the seat is at. Fold that over on itself just like we did before so it doesn't stick to anything and push it down in there. Now the same for this side here. Fold that over so it doesn't stick to anything and push it through. That side's a little easier because I can get my hand back there. Now for the part that's hard to see. This, I'm just pushing that up like that. Now I'm gonna start on this side just because it's closer to me. And I'm just kind of going by feel here. So if you can't see, don't feel bad. I can't either. I'm just pulling these two flaps together and sticking them 
together. So pull from the front, pull from the back, stick it up together. It's important to get these stuck together good and tight though, even though you can't see it under there because this is what keeps your whole passenger side seat bottom fitting and looking good. Front to back, those are stuck together. Now I'm gonna reach up here and do this side to side. And then on the outside, closer to the door, you'll be able to see that better. So these are the ones that were really hard to see when we're working between the driver's seat and the fastener seat. But all we're doing is pulling them nice and tight, sticking them up to the cover like that. And that's all it takes, we're finished.